Hello, Zosi. Uh, we'll show you that my screen on my computer, excuse me, my computer screen, or let's call it the DVR screen, is working with the picture frame just like I like it. It's kind of early morning right here, very early morning. That's why it's hazy. As it's backyard. As you can see, I have eight screens going on around the yard. Even got one at the road hidden. This one, and it's my favorite one up here in the tree. But as you see, the picture is a full frame, very wide angle. And that's the way it should be. And I will soon show you that I'm going to copy the a sample video from the DVR to a memory stick and then put it on my computer. Okay, the next phase of this video I will show you that I'm backing up the file. I just chose a sample file. Uh, a couple sample files, but anyway I uh, found, f found a bunch of them, but I'm only going to back up four of them. Selected the channel number, the time, and the end date. Hit back up. Shows that it's going to be an AVI file. Shows that I got an 8 memory, 8 gigabyte stick, or just about number of files for the dates, all that good stuff. So, hit and start, and you can see the progress bar. Not that I need to show you all this, but I'm doing it anyway because maybe you see something I'm doing wrong. Backup is complete. Now let's see if I need to show you this or not, but there's my memory stick lit up red. Now I'm pulling it out of the back of the DVR. And there it is, my memory stick. It's a good one too. And it was formatted, as you said, to format it. Or your instructions said to format it. Okay, I am now going to put this memory stick with those four video files into my computer. The computer recognizes it. Norton always wants to scan a, a, a media anything so I already had two of them on the stick but I put two fresh ones on here so let me pick out one with the day's date no I did uh, the 23rd's date that really doesn't matter so I'm gonna click on one can you see the squeezed compressed file I'm going to say squeezed picture. Click on another video. See how the picture is not taking up the frame? If you can see, if you can see, let me zoom in so I can tell you what happened and this is why it's so important. If you can see my cursor moving around. Somebody for the past year has been throwing liquor bottles at my neighbor's yard at his mailbox and uh, the glass bottles have been coming to rest over here in the ditch once it broke into my driveway but we caught the guy we haven't contacted him sorry I can't contact the police because with this it, and it was small to see the bottle and everything else, but you can see it on the screen on the DVR. 
but once you move the video file to my computer and the squeezed part, the squeezed way it is, it just becomes so hard to see anything. Uh, and as you can see, here's the left side of my screen where I move my cursor, the right side of the screen, and this viewable frame is about, well let me click on it again, click on another one. It's taken up just a little bit over half, only half, of the whole viewable screen. I have tried to use a convert it to MP4. I, I mean, I successfully converted it to MP4 and other video files, and it still comes out squeezed looking. Uh, if I can open it with, I'll open it with AVS. Open, where is the open with? Media player, I don't think it'll open up because it's not ha doesn't have the codec it needs. Uh, open with. Movie Maker. It will open with Movie Maker. However, once the video gets loaded, <laughs> you can see that it's still squeezed inside the screen. And it'll come out that way after I create a new file with Movie Maker. I can open with, let's see what else I got. VLC Media Player. Looks like it's so squeezed it's less than half the viewable screen. I can't show a police officer or anybody else, that matter of fact, somebody throwing a glass bottle and hitting my neighbor's mailbox. Again, you can see it on my DVR screen, but just enough, and it would be incriminating. But here, on this screen, it's just too, it's so squeezed. It needs to look like it does on my DVR screen. Let's see if I got any more software viewers uh, to use. Did I do one as many a player? I did. Uh, well, maybe let's try this one out. See what happens. Yeah, it comes open on this one. It's still about half the viewable area that it could take up. Uh, so, well, I'll tell you what, you can't see. Let me back off so you can see. But it's worse. There you go, backed off. Now you can see it's only taken up probably less than half of the viewable screen. Over here is the left side. Over there is the right side. And I've tried all kind of settings. I've tried all, well that's just a plain viewer without any software. Excuse me, without any settings. Excuse me. Uh, now, man, I don't know. What the, oh, it's trying to open up with a software that's wanting me to pay to get it to work. Forget that. Uh, open with the VLC media player has all kinds of uh, tools. And I have tried to view it in different kind of things and make all kind of adjustments. What I'm not going to do it here now because it's, this video is getting to be too long to begin with. Uh, zoom. Let's see what Zoom does. One point one. Uh, well, it ain't doing nothing. Audio, video, zoom. There's the original video. Zoom. One quarter. It just ain't doing nothing. Anyway, it doesn't matter because the screen's compressed or, or squeezed. How do I get 
my created video file to show up like it does on my computer to show up like it does on the DVR screen. Thank you very much.